Hi everybody, Keith Best here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the new Magic Page themes. Okay, so obviously, the first thing you need to do is download one. So if you go into here, now I'm going to download them because it's pretty straightforward because I've already got loads of downloaders. So these are what we've got so far. Okay, you've got your DJ, your spa, your carpet cleaning, auto repair, chiropractor, law maintenance, appliance repair, and there's lots more to come. Okay, so all you do is, as it says, click on download. Firefox will prevent it, but you allow pop your pop ups. And then basically you save it in your downloads. Okay, nice and easy. Now, obviously, in your plugins, these are my standard plugins. The only new one is this Elements Kit, and you need Elements Kit in so you can have the menu in the top of this thing. Obviously, you need Elementor, Generator Press Premium, probably not now. Um, it just gets added into mine as a standard sort of thing because that's what I do. You probably use Hello theme, um, but I just use Generate Press, that's what I'm used to using. Obviously security, obviously magic page. So that's all you need. So if we go to a page now, obviously this is exactly the same on um, your magic pages. In fact, for those who are not used to using Elementor, I'll just go through the settings with Elementor, you just jump into here and if you just make sure that you have magic page ticked then you'll be able to use elementor on your magic pages if you don't have that tick then when you go into your magic page you won't see the elementor button but let's go into pages let's go into home page and let's go edit with elementor Okay, so it's a blank page. So all you got to do is click here. And just go to upload. Now, I've tried dragging stuff onto this and it doesn't always work. So I, I, now I just go select a file. Let's do it. Press, so if we're going to have a look, I think it's in, oh, good edit, uh, downloads, should have one there, I think. Okay, go ahead, downloads, go into Spire and Beauty, and go into, oh, okay. So these are templates, they are not themes, okay? So you can't upload them like you would a template, you have to go in and upload them, and then you find this JSON file. What you do, when you load this in, it actually pulls in all the images and everything like that. So you do open. That's going to pull all the images and everything in. So, you know, give it a couple of seconds to like sort of do its job. Okay, as you can see, I've added another one here, but click on here and just do insert. Again, that will pull it all in. When you record and got other things going on, it does take a, a little bit longer. I think this one has actually got a lot of uh, images and stuff on, so. 
Venus Spa and Beauty one. There we go. So pulls all this in. All the images, all the text. All you've got to do now is put your text in here. Obviously change these around and things like that. You can do what you want with this theme, once, this template once it's in. If you want to delete a section, then just hit the cross. Yeah, if you want to edit it, then just hit there. If you want to edit the text inside, hit there. So you can do whatever you want with it. Obviously, this is not a, an element, a training course. There's loads of them on the YouTube and stuff like that if you want them. So to get your menu, it's quite simple. Hit there, scroll right to the bottom, and this is down on Elements Kit, and you go to here, Nav Menu. Okay. So stick it in there. And I'll come up. Now it's blank at the moment because we haven't selected a menu. So we have to select the menu here. So we can do primary, primary two, just do primary. So that doesn't look too bad. Now on our mobile, we might have a menu logo. So let's have a look. Go to here. Where's the spa logo? Oh, that's a bit big. So I know. let's have that for our menu logo. Yeah, hamburger icon. So it brings you up to the icons thing. So you just choose it. Hamburger, that'll do. Not exactly the one what we wanted, but that'll do for now. So that would how it would show on uh, uh, mobile. So now, if we want to change that, then we can go into here. I mean, change the style of it. So we go in. We can have the pattern more, and then we can change the color. So say we wanted, I don't know, let's have that uh, the shade of blue. That looks good enough. Shade of green. That stands out a bit more. So then if we go to hover, let's have a hover, a red, and then let's have the active. Let's have the active, uh, oh, let's put the active black. Okay, so we've just changed the colors there. And obviously you can play around with the sub menus if you've got them. Update. Let's have a look. As you can see, we've got the green, which when we hover over goes to red, and we've got the black when it's actually highlighted. And then we've got our page, which is all done. So all the nice graphics and the nice moving in. So it's like I say, it's just a case of you putting your text in where you want it. Okay, hope that helps some of you guys get using these templates. Catch you on the next video. Bye.